Welcome to Fiber Chronicles. I am Bonnie and you can find me on Ravelry, Facebook, and Instagram. And I have a new website that is FiberChronicles.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I rip back when I've made a mistake and I need to frog back a few rows, several rows, and I don't want to have to worry about picking the stitches up after I pulled out, frogged out to them. So what I do is I take my circular needles and I pick up stitches in the row I want to frog back to and then I frog to it. Afterthought lifeline you might say. In this video I am going to demonstrate myself doing this to correct a mistake. My mistake is in the Wild Blooms shawl. The pattern is written by Barbara of Knitting I Love. It is a beautiful pattern. I really like it. It is fun to knit. It comes out looking nice. It's not too difficult or too easy. I loved it. This is my second one, yet for some reason I didn't follow the directions even though I'd done the shawl before. But I had to rip back all the way to here. This video I'm showing you that and how it worked. There are some mistakes in there so you get to see how I corrected some of my mistakes. I would also like to mention that Barbara has given me permission to do a giveaway for this shawl pattern. I will be doing that in my next podcast. Keep watch for that. I am also including a set of stitch markers to go along with that so that you will be able to make this shawl yourself. So stay tuned for my next podcast. I hope you enjoy this demonstration. I am making this one in Barocco Colora. It is 70% wool, 30% acrylic. It is a DK weight yarn. This yarn is kind of slippery. It doesn't keep its little loops very well and when you're pulling around they pull out very easily so I need to get the cable in there before I finish frogging. I decided to come back right here. When I have to pick up stitches like that to frog back I like to change my needle tip. I am using the Chow Gu red lace needles they are my favorite. I love these needles. I have the large set. I am hoping to be able to get the mini set. So I will use a size 3 because I like to get down to the smallest one I have available. I'll take off my size 7s that I've been using and put on my size 3s because the smaller the better for picking up stitches. I do not need to take off the second one because I'm not going to be using it for the picking up and otherwise I just have to put it back on. So what I do, I will bring this around. I like to have it the right side facing me. So I'm looking and I'm seeing, okay, right here, this row, this knit row back behind. Actually, that's the bottom of the purl row. I think I will pick up the knit row. That's usually easier. I do have a an decrease right there, so I'll have to be aware of that. I will follow this out to the edge. It has the knit, the purl, the knit, the purl. This is the slipped first slipped with yarn in front stitch. This is the right hand leg of that purl stitch. And then I want to come down and I'm finding my way down in between those stitches uh, with being seed stitch, it is a little more difficult. So then I skip over that leg and come to the next one which is the right leg because it curves around this way and down. I again skip over that one and pick up the next one. 
skip over that one and this one is going to be a little more difficult. I'm going to have to pick up two here because this is the decrease, one of the decreases. And so it has two stitches together. It's an SSK. But then I get over when I skip that one, that side. Now it's the easiest part. You still have to pay attention to what you're doing, but you come under the right hand leg skip the left hand leg of that V that comes up like this and then it goes around. I actually think of it as a horseshoe that goes this way instead of the V just that seems to work better for me. So I'm skipping this side and I pick up the right leg of that horseshoe and I'm going to continue picking up the right leg all the way across. Let's see, this one that goes around there. This one, it looks like I have a split stitch a little bit, so I'll try to make sure I get all of the correct stitch. And as you can see when I show it here, I have a purl bump here, and then all the legs all come out of that purl bump. And I'm picking up every other leg. You want to try to make sure you don't split any of the yarn strands because then it becomes more difficult and the yarn is less secure. This one is on top of a knit two together it looks like and so it's being a little more fiddly. It isn't the knit two together stitch but it's the one right after so you just have to watch out for the different stitches as you go. Skip one, pick up one. Making sure not to get any strands of yarn that don't belong. And like this one, I grabbed it and it's like, oh, that doesn't look quite right. I pull it back out. I stretch out the fabric a little more and so I can make sure that when I go back in next time I don't pick up, accidentally pick up the yarn from above, a, a bit of the yarn from the above because that's what I had done. Let me, let's see, see now I've come to one that's being a little more fiddly and so I look at it, this is actually coming down here. I almost picked up both legs of that one which would have made the stitch drop. So I'm glad I noticed that something looked wrong so that I could then make sure I did it right. Oop. Now I'm looking, my horseshoe, I'm on the wrong leg. I made a mistake somewhere. There I'm on the wrong leg. There I'm on the wrong leg. Ah, whoops. Hmm. How far back did I mess up? So, as you see, we mess up. I think I just found my mess up place. Yep. So there, I, I picked up this one. This one's kind of hiding there. And so I missed it and I was going every other one, but that's why you keep paying attention because then you can see that, wait a minute, I'm not on the left leg anymore. Is it a big deal to not be on the left leg? No, it just means that your stitch isn't oriented correctly so that if you just knit on it the way it is, it will end up being twisted, which really isn't that big of a problem to fix it. That kind of a stitch, you just knit through the back loop, but it means you have to pay a lot more attention to what you're doing. When you get going, you kind of get a feel of the fabric 
and you get used to it and it gets, you know, so if you have a long way you're picking up, it actually gets faster and easier as you go, but you want to make sure as you're doing that not to forget to pay attention. But you get, you, you do get used to the look of the fabric, how the yarn is working. I just came to the center because this is a center double decrease. What I'm going to do is I have these two that are pulled over the one stitch. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the left stitch here of the stitch that's underneath. I believe that's the, yeah. And so that way it won't get lost, but it will be the wrong, have the wrong orientation. So, but I'll know that when I get to the center, then I'll need to watch for that. And then making sure to get back to where I need to be. Yep, so these, you're picking up two right in a row, two legs right in a row. And this was more difficult to see, and I think I got a little bit of the other yarn on there, so there we go. Fingernails are nice for moving little bits of yarn off the needle. back to the other side. Okay, I am back to this knit two together. And let's see, which one do I need here? It's going to be this one up here. As you see here, I'm on top of this, but this one is the knit stitch. I want to get the one above, not down here, but up here. And then pick up that last stitch there. This is kind of tight on my cable right here because I'd switched to a shorter cable, but I've already put the longer cable on a different project. Now it is time for me to grab this yarn and do some frogging. Pulling out the very last round. And as you can see, the cable's right in there holding the needles. They are, from what I'm looking at right here, they are situated correctly with the right leg in front. Okay, here I made a mistake and it is kind of stuck. I went through the wrong one, it looks like, or... Oh, I switched. Mm. Darn it. Here's what you do not want to do. What I did is I switched rows. I was picking up one row over here and oh and i have 3 stitches that i picked up the wrong row so i'm pulling up over here where it is coming out and we will figure out how to fix that and i did get some messed up over here at the end as well so what i'm going to do is get a spare needle Pick this up, and where do I need to be? I need to have this one over here. 
And I'm gonna have to fix that at the end. I think I just need to knit one the other direction. <clears throat> but now I am just going to slip these all down to where I made that other mistake. Here's where I made the mistake. So I just have at this one where I'm just kind of slipping them over, I'm just going to pick it up there, pull that out, pick it up here, pull that out, and then the last one, pick up the stitch below. This one's being a little more fiddly because it has both. And then I can just go ahead and slip them all back down to the other end of the needle can see that I have my working yarn on the right which means this is the right side Oop. and make sure you don't do what I just did because I forgot I had my shorter cable on there and the smaller needle make sure you don't forget to change out your smaller tip for the size you need I hope this is helpful for you thanks for watching see you next time bye